flew up late last night. Welcome back to the shop again this week, you guys. We are moving on to our next bow build. Uh, this is going to be something of an experiment, probably more of a test of uh, processes just to see what happens with this bow. Uh, the intention with this bow is to have a pretty lightweight draw. So again, working on a 30 to 35 pound draw at 28 inches. Uh, and my intention here is to actually do a two-stage glue up on a tri -lam bow. And the intention here is to really kind of put the theories of peri-reflex and shear on glue lines to the test. Um, logic tells me, or really this is the test, is to see if we can maximize those shear lines, one in deflex and one in reflex, on a common core and see if we can't squeeze just even more efficiency out of our materials. Uh, again, it's going to be a very lightweight bow, so all the parts are going to be very, very slight. Um, and guys, I plan on putting together a, a build manual to go along with this build if you wanna follow along. Uh, I say that now, not even knowing how it turns out. So uh, assuming that everything plays out the way I'm thinking it'll play out, uh, there will be a build along uh, manual to go with it, something to carry into the shop with all the dimensions and everything. So guys, uh, let's get started on this guy and see what we get. Since I already have my my core and belly lamination sorted out, uh, and this is, again, all just pre-tapered, these pieces are, are tempered and tapered bamboo uh, that have been pre-tillered, so they're ready to go. Everything's ready to go with regards to the belly of my bow, with the exception of putting in the riser piece. And so I have the components of the riser, and that is the next piece to get done. The uh, template itself is 12 inches long, but in order to make sure I get a really good tapered out feathered edge here, I always cut my pieces to 13 inches, and then uh, assemble them that way. And the way this is going to work out is I've got some zebra wood, some hackberry, and then a very uh, thin, thin cut of purple heart. All right, so how you put your riser together is really up to you. Uh, bottom line is we just need the dimensions to be right to accommodate the uh, template for the riser piece. Uh, so this is how I've got mine going. I have uh, split my piece of zebra wood, got one layer each of the purple heart, and that will then encase the uh, hackberry. So this is going to be my stack, so to speak, right here. And when, I mean, it's going to look just like this through the, through the main portion of the riser, right? But from the back view where the, the uh, ramps run out, it's going to have this nice appearance to it. And then when we cut in a shelf, an arrow shelf, uh, we will likely get into some of the uh, laminations in here. Uh, to really give a, a good a good look uh, to the arrow cutout or the shelf. So there's there is the uh, stack right there and it is like dead on same width as my uh, belly piece. All right our glue up is complete. I got uh, painters tape on these outer edges just to kind of minimize some of that uh, spillover and mess, but you can see uh, the stack put together. Uh, now I just got to true it up. I'm doing a 
something. It's, I don't know. It's really more experiment. Um, as much as it's trying to come up with a good plan to keep my bamboo all in one piece. But what I'm doing here is putting some strapping tape across this belly side of the pieces of belly bamboo that are going to be going up the ramps. And the reason I'm doing this is I've had a couple of problems in the past where the bamboo itself will like split as it's going up, as, as it's being glued onto the ramp. And I'm, what I'm trying to do is prevent that from happening. Now, any old tape is not gonna get the job done, but strapping tape has these lengths of fiberglass in the tape itself. So it's kind of acting like a, what I would call like a butterfly bandage, just kind of holding everything together. I'm gonna trim this off flush uh, prior to glue up and then go ahead and glue these up and uh, hope to avoid any of that splitting. You can... All right guys, so we're preparing to glue our parts together uh, first stage glue up and I suppose that we could just glue the riser to the belly to start with and then go on about gluing up our belly lambs. My concern with doing it that way is twofold. One, if I really wanted to keep the joints clean I would need to use, I, my best bet would be to use like a PVA glue, right, just a carpenter's glue. And with as much stress as going to be applied at this riser, I just don't want to put my faith in a PVA. Um, I've learned that lesson the hard way. You know, all surrounded with, with um, epoxy and your one PVA joint, it gives way. So we're gonna go epoxy all the way through here. I've got everything lined up for my riser, center of the bow, uh, and taped off the one section of the core lamb that is going to then turn into the, uh, where the backing will be glued on. Now, to keep this from getting too complicated and for everything to stay lined up, I am going to Put some alignment pins in here to keep everything aligned as I everything lined up. And again into here. I think I may have swapped these up. Yeah, just like that. All right. That's where those are gonna sit to keep everything in alignment while I glue on the, glue up the riser and the belly pieces all in one, all in one shot. Once everything's all glued together, we're, we are going to put it onto our uh, jig and we're going to induce some deflex. And that deflex is going to look a lot like the tiller of the limb. That's the intention anyway. So it'll tiller into deflex along the limbs. And then, uh, then we'll go into stage number two of the glue up, glue up, which will add then the reflex back into the entirety of the bow. Here she is all glued up, guys. Um, you can see that we got a good tiller in there. Um, it's its own tiller, so it's not strapped down to the jig in any way, just at the grip uh, with a couple of uh, like three inch props here at the end. This might be four inches. Uh, but in any event, just a very slight deflex along the length of these limbs so that we can build in that sheer glue line for when we glue in our reflex. Now that we are 
kind of in a waiting period, gives us the opportunity to get started on our bamboo backing strip. strip put together here. Um, a little bit thinner than typical so I'm at about a 0.17 thickness up near the grip here um, because again this is going to be a pretty lightweight bow. Um, this guy has been curing now for about 18 hours and I'm going to go ahead and call that enough, at least for our purposes, because it's not like we're going to be uh, drawing this bow or anything like that. Um, you can see the amount of deflex that it held on to here. Thing appears to be even. I mean, my hand, my grip seems to be resting evenly off the, the uh, bench top here. So, I mean, at least on cursory type observation, it looks to me like they're bending evenly. Okay, we've got our bamboo backing ready to roll. Uh, I did take a little bit more off of this guy, so. He's sitting more around like a 0 0.16, 0 0.15 thickness uh, up in here. And then cleaned off my gluing surface of the substrate of the bow. So didn't spend a lot of time cleaning up the rest of everything. It's just going to get covered in epoxy again. So don't want to spend too much uh, effort behind that. Uh, but I will tell you that it takes some pretty good effort to bend this bow back into... Uh, deflex or reflex rather so it is going to be interesting to see how this uh, finishes out and um, really it's just a matter of getting it glued up now so here we go we're gonna uh, go ahead and glue on the backing strip now this will be phase two of the glue up process okay guys I just got the backing strip attached to the core or the belly I guess and I wanted to take a minute or include you anyway on getting this thing strapped down. Now it feels a little more limber in its current state since it is uh, strapped together and glued up uh, but when I was dry fitting this it took some doing to get the reflex into this bow. Now, I want to mention that I made sure to put just a single layer of band across my grip area here so it will sit uh, exactly flush or flat. We'll say flat. Uh, on the jig here. Yeah, see this is going to take some effort to get moved up. Yeah, it is definitely taking some effort. Now, I'm kind of liking the fact that it is I think it is pulling the riser a little bit. So we're getting a good deflex. Definitely getting, be able to see it right through the grip there. 
And if we come over this direction, you can see that those limbs are in fact bending in tiller. Yeah. Yeah, this looks good. I'm liking that. All right, we have uh, gone our full 24 hours uh, for allowing this to cure. <clears throat> and you can see all of the uh, setback that it just gave back from the glue up. Um, we do have what appears to be some pretty good setback. I mean, it's all still wrapped up and whatnot. So I'm not going to get anything precise in terms of a measure, but it looks like about one and three quarters inch of reflex on that. And it's got some, it's got some pretty good liveliness to it here. Um, get this thing unwrapped right quick so here's what we ended up with uh all unwrapped it's not cleaned up yet it's still got its its cellophane wrap on there uh, and the setback did end up being even after all cleaned up about one and three quarters just just a little bit less like one and five eighths um, it's a pretty springy, it's a springy boat rank. So we got a lot of life in this thing. Um, and I'm liking the way it's bending. Something to note, watch when I push this down, those limbs, they literally flatten out across the length of their, across the length of the limb, all the way to the grip. So we're not bending too much like like in a lot of cases, it'll bend a lot at your fade and you'll still have some of this little bit of, of reflex along the grip. This thing is straightening out perfectly. So uh, I really like that about this particular glue up. Uh, the other thing about it, uh, on a floor tiller, guys, if I'm guessing ballparks, I would say this thing is in the, it's a, it's a hunting weight. It's hunting weight. It's up there around 50 or 60 pounds resistance. That's what it feels like. Uh, and remember, we're trying to get to like a 30 to 35 pound bow. So we are well ahead of the mark in terms of uh, weight management on this. But of course, it is still in its rough state. So that bamboo backing is, is much wider than the actual limb. Uh, so we got a little bit of removal yet to do and, and some work to get it into its weight class. But guys, here is the, here's basically the starting line. We've got our bow blank done. And uh, from here, it's all about the uh, tillering. So guys, thank you for joining me this week. We'll get on about getting it to brace and full tiller next week. I will see you then.